Thank you so much for joining me in my studio for this week's installment of Tim's Two Minute Tech Tuesday. And today we're going to be going over freehand shields, how to use them and when and when not to use them. That's the important thing. It's not just when to use these things, which will give you really great edges, but when not to use it or maybe how to use it and get a little bit less of a hard line. So coming right up. If you ever want to purchase the airbrush or the freehand shields in this video, there will be links in the description field. Those are affiliate links where my channel will get a small commission, but it'll be no difference in price to you. You'll just be helping out the channel. It's very crucial to use these not only for hard edges, which is very beneficial and probably what separates airbrush from every other medium where you can get these really beautiful hard edges, but also when not to use them. Conjunction with the hard edges and soft edges, you can create images that have a reality that you could not get in other mediums. Or if you did, it would be a lot more difficult for you to achieve. You still have to pay attention. You still have to pay attention to the lights and the darks, things that are come forward, things that have hard edges. So that would be, let's say, details in the light side of the face. That would have very hard edges. Details, let's say, in a shadow area, that would have very soft edges. And this is where the use of the freehand shields and also not using them will really help your images become very realistic. One of the things you really have to worry about when using freehand shields is not having everything very hard edged. The work will look very artificial. And also the, the lack of freehand shields, everything will look too soft and kind of murky and not realistic either. Always remember that when you do use freehand shields, you want to go perpendicular to the freehand shield. You don't want to go along the edge. There are some moments where you will go along the edge, but that is more of a rarity. When you go perpendicular to the freehand shield edge, you will actually create a more realistic edge of the form to the background or one form to another. So always remember, perpendicular and not parallel, unless it's a unique situation and that would be different. Because what happens is you'll have like a hard edge around it and that's not gonna be good because you wanna create that atmosphere. So this has been Tim's Two Minute Tech Tuesday on freehand shields. Uh, there's also a link to uh, Bill Kennedy's video on freehand shields, how he makes his own and he also makes some stencils. I thought that would be very helpful. So go ahead and click that. Next week, we'll do another one, and I want to continue this series. And don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you have a great week. Take care of yourselves. There are small instances where you have to go along the contour. So, so.